what's up guys you guys are welcome to Trice tv channel once again so in today's class we're going to look at how we can generate sales using social media platform so what are the things we're going to cover for this class we're going to cover what social selling is the best channel for social selling what are the statistics of social selling and the facts that will let us know that social selling is the best strategy to use to uh, to attract our prospect or our customers or whosoever we want to get to using social selling guide so uh, the next thing we're going to check out is the benefit of social selling and the two parts of social selling we have and as well how to start with social selling so the last but not the least is an advanced social selling strategy and the expert tips so at the end of this class you can be able to make use of your own personal social selling strategy to be able to use it to boost your sales using social media platforms but before we go into details on this uh, guide we i would like to ask you guys for a favor if you are watching this video for the first time or you are a returning user on this channel and you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please i urge you guys to click on the subscription button and make sure you toggle on the bell icon so that you'll be notified each time i update or upload a video on this particular youtube channel so if you're watching outside youtube and you wish to be a subscriber you can use the number on your screen or you can use the link you're seeing on your screen thank you guys for doing that so uh let's go to what we have for today but before we go into details more please i would like to i would like us to look at the world closely you will understand that technology is now the key of everything most of the thing technology is the key because if you watch around you see that the traditional way we are doing things earlier back then in 90s or in in early 2000 you will find out that technology today is taking over now let's look at the business aspect of it i can remember years back when by we can't transact business without going physically to see the product and services and we can't transact business without traveling outside from one country to another to go and inspect those products and make sure the person you are transacting with is actually the real person before transacting any business with the person but in today in today's world we can be here and we will place an order from any place around the world we will pay and it will be shipped to our doorsteps so with the help of technology we can be able to achieve this in today's world we can be able to book cabs anywhere we are around the globe and do what they will see the cab will arrive and take us to our destinations but back then we don't have such features because we are making use of traditional way of we are making use of traditional way of uh, the traditional method that we have as of then but now digital is taking over the world let's go into banking system i can remember years back as of, uh, as of uh, that should be around 19 on 19, 19 that should be around 1999 or wherever early 2000s when i know that most of us as a business personnel we always stack our money when traveling we pack our money from one country to another of sorry from one state to another for business transa transaction but in today's world you will find out that we are handling cashless policy you don't need to visit bank to be able to travel to do your business your money can be you can be in your bank account and you travel once you get to that place you can only you can just run a transfer to the person's account or you can withdraw at any um, area and you can give the person cash after you are done with your business so you can see that technology is really taking over the world and when it comes to cryptocurrency right now you see that cryptocurrency which is a digital currency we have is one of the highest currency in the whole world which is bitcoin is highest one of the highest currency in the whole world you can see that technology is totally taking over so the question you have to ask yourself is that are you still dealing with the traditional way of selling are you still dealing with the traditional way of being known are you still dealing with the traditional way where so many people have already left behind as of 1996 1999 2000 and so on and so forth have you migrated to the new method of selling online or have you migrated to the new method of 
uh, the new method others are using currently, which is the digital way. So after asking yourself this question, just you are at the end of this class, you can be able to answer these questions you are asking yourself right now. So let's go to what we have today. First of all, you have to ask yourself what. Let's ask ourselves what is social selling. Yes, we all know uh, the keyword that social, which we many of us are using today. That is, at least if we have one million in this world, at least nine hundred thousand are using social media platforms. So the question is now, what is social selling? In my own definition, social selling is a way to connect with family and friends or prospects of uh, customers together. It's a way of selling your products and services using social media platforms. It's a way you connect with friends, family and friends and sell your products and services using social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, they have so many of social media in the world right now. But I'm going to list few and um, most important ones, or should I say the most popular ones. That's what we're going to use here. But I bet you that we have thousands of social media around the globe that we can use to market our products and services. Now, what are the best channels for social media? First of all, I, have, I would like to pick Facebook as number one. Facebook is number one social media platform that I will pick. Okay, let me just start from the beginning. Like I said, what is social selling? Social selling is simple. It's a simple strategy that uses social media platform like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, etc., to connect and interact directly with your sales potential. Which people are your sales potential? Your sales potentials are your prospects, which are the people you are searching for. Because let me tell you the truth. The truth is that we have gone, time has gone when we have to stay in our various offices, in our various um, shops, or in our various stores, waiting for customers to come and look at what we are selling, or waiting for customers to ask us what are we selling and what is the price. In today's world, we are the one to to showcase or pour out our products to our customers so that they can be able to see it, know the prices, know what the specification of each of the product is, and let them place an order for it to be delivered. So that's one of the work of social selling. It helps you, it's a good strategy that helps you use social media like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and so many other social media to connect and, and interact directly with your sales potentials, which is your prospect. It is also a popular way to build meaningful relationship with your customers. Replacing good old fashion search. What are these good old fashion? Uh, um, what are these good old fashion search? It is called cold calling. When we talk about cold calling, I can recall as of a uh, few years back when even up to now some people are still practicing the traditional way of, of selling when someone will go and get a product and the person will start calling each of the customers one after the other using her he or her phone you start using it now to make calls to those uh, her customers calling the one after the other to tell them that she brought a new um, that is a new arrival of a product that she has, they should come and check. This way, uh, this way, uh, uh, should I say, is an old method of selling. It, it is an old method of selling because the new method of selling now is all digitalized. You don't need to disturb your customers to come and get what you want. The strategy which I'm going to show you guys using social media platforms. You are going to use it and you observe and you will see that at the end the customers will be the one disturbing you to place to um deliver their goods for them because they will place it they will place an order on the internet for you to deliver their goods for them so what are the statistics that shows that social media selling that social selling is one of the trending and one of the most popular way of selling our products and services now 
You might be wondering if social selling uh, will work for your business. Let me tell you one thing. No matter the kind of business you are doing, social selling is the key. Each of the social medias are being built for a particular business or a particular reason. So the only thing you have to do is to fetch out the one that suits the kind of business you are doing. Now let's go by statistics. There are about 3.5 billion active social media users around the world as of 2019. Currently, we are in 2021. So as of 2019, there is about 3.5 billion active social media users around the globe, which is around the world as of 2019. And there is about 80, 89% of top performing self professionals that uses uh, social media. Out of 100, 89 are using social media selling. So if you watch at you see that the popularity of social media or social selling strategy is the key. Almost most of the top professionals that, that are selling faster on the internet are using social selling strategy. So if you read further, you find that, that they have about 70% of modern sell professionals that say that they are most active in LinkedIn for business purposes compared to Facebook. At least about 70% are active on social selling using LinkedIn, about 64% are active on Twitter, 43% are active, uh, 64% are active on Facebook, about 43% are active on Twitter. So with these statistics, you will find that, that your return on investment of any product you are selling on the internet, you will surely get it 100% because that is the key where so many people in the globe are because you can see a 15 years old girl or 15 years old boy or a 10 years old boy you see he or she has a device already and if you watch closely you see that that child or that person will belong to one of the social media if it is not TikTok, it will be facebook if it is not facebook it will be instagram if it is not instagram it will be twitter if it is not twitter it will be linkedin if it's not LinkedIn, it will be uh, YouTube searching for some course or some things. So social media is one of the key to market your products and services. And also not only about business, it also helps in marketing your career. Are you a musician? Are you a writer? There are so many other social medias where you can market what you did on. And from there, you can boost your career you can boost your business as well and you can boost more sales using social media platform so now what are the two types of social selling we have we have what they call the outbounding prospecting and the inbounding marketing now one thing you have to know is that successful and effective social selling is both outbounding prospecting and inbounding marketing you can never be successful in social selling without using these two part of social selling the first method which is the outbounding prospecting and the second uh, method which is the inbound marketing now these two works together what is outbounding prospecting outbounding prospecting is the first half of identifying and learning as much as you can about your prospect and connecting with them directly when you are using this strategy of being able to know who your prospects are connecting with them, marketing your products using the social media, that's when you are doing outbounding prospecting. You are trying to find a customer using social media. That's when the strategy you use to find those social media, those uh, prospects using social media are what they call outbounding prospecting because you must first of all organize a strategy to market your, uh, to market your products to your, uh, to your, customers or to your prospect before you can you, you must first of all find the prospect first before marketing your product to them so when you are looking at who your prospect will be who they are what would they be like these are the strategies you are using to know to get them closer to you then when you get them closer to you then the next which is the final half of the uh, two types of social selling, which is the 
at which is the inbounding marketing is where you now integrate the inbounding marketing marketing your products to them so now inbounding marketing they say that the inbounding marketing is the second half is progressing to the relationship building process this requires you to share valuable content that will attract and qualify prospects and make them come to you so social selling enables salesperson to target quality prospects build bond with them who are you building bond with you are building bond with the prospect you have already gotten the first step you did was to get a prospect the second thing you are doing is to market what you have and what you have has to be one valuable and one the it has to be it has to be a great content with a valuable uh that is a great content with a great value so if you don't have such things you might not be successful in social selling strategy so what are the benefits what exactly are the benefit of social selling the first benefit of social selling is social selling saves times and shorten the sales cycle okay let's use for instance you are a business person maybe you are into fashion you are selling clothes and shoes wristwatches and others you find out that when you buy your products and services and you actually went to uh, maybe one of the companies or banks to sell your products first of all what they will do is that they will pick one of it and they will be looking at it the next thing they will tell you is that how much is it you might say okay you are selling at the rate of 10,000 naira. they will say no i will buy at 2005 you people will be there bargaining you will try to convince him or her telling him that it is original that you imported it from uh, maybe USA, you imported it from Thailand, this and this and that. All this time processing of argument, all this time you people are uh, arguing, you know, trying to negotiate prices. You people are killing time because at the end of it, you will find out that there are two things that will be involved there or three things that will involve. One is that after the argument or after the uh, negotiation, the customer might not even buy the products so one you have wasted your time and the customer did not get the products secondly is that you have wasted a time and maybe you didn't sell it the right um, amount you wanted to sell it i don't know if you understand so these things are also involved but with the social media strategy with the social selling strategy your prices are already on the on, on, on the internet, which is the social media. Your specification of what the product is all about, be it the brand, be it the uh, the content or whatsoever it is it is being used to produce such product, whatsoever product it will be, everything is specified there. Your prices is specified there. The only thing the customer has to do is to say, ask you, where will I pay? So for those that use this website, some of them integrate online payment, some of them integrate their um, bank wire payment, but we are not going there. What we are going into now is using social media to connect with our uh, with our prospect, which is our customers. So what the person will just do is just to contact you and ask you for your bank details to make payment because everything is there. The next thing is going to do is just to contact you, your bank details, you send your bank details and the person will just wire the fund to your account. The next thing you have to do is to request for address and you ship the goods to the person. It has already saved you enough time. Then the second thing is that it finds new opportunities. Now, finding new opportunities is that it will make you to be able to see new, new people, like new intelligent people, different kinds of people. You will meet different people with different, um, with different connections understand because social media is a very big uh should I say it's a very big place where you meet different kinds of people but if you are still trading you are, you are still doing uh the traditional way of of selling products you'll find out that each time you buy a new product or each time you want to sell you only work straight to those your customers that you already know you can't find new customer unless by the grace of God, you uh, someone met you at, 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 along the road, or your customer referred you to someone. That's the only way you can do what you can get a new customer because all your mindset is that 
you are going to those customers and when they say no they are not buying today you'll be frustrated but using social media strategy you can be able to get and reach to so many other potential customers around the globe so it finds you new opportunities then the third one is that it lets you it let your sales rep build real relationship yes with social media or social selling strategy you can build a real relationship with your customers you can build a real relationship with your customers because one you will be always be up to date to update them with the latest that you have you will always be updating your profile with uh the with new designs so with all these things with new brands new everything anytime each day you always update them with the latest always update them to let them know that you are actually real and you are legit and you can never fail them so with this they will build that trust will be there relationship will be there it will even easy to communicate with them anytime they want you you are there to communicate with them so with such um features you will find out that the relationship bond will be very high so the next thing is that it will increase the number of leads it will increase the number of leads so increasing the number of leads is that you will sell often it will increase the number of sales you make in a day because you are meeting new people every day and every day new people are visiting your profile to see what you have so every day you are increasing your sales so the next thing is it has a better customer retention so uh retaining a customer is not an easy uh tax but with the strategy of using social selling you can retain your customers because once the trust and the and the relationship the real relationship is there then there is possibility a hundred percent possibility and assurance that your customers will always be your customers because they have they have they have trust in you and they believe in you so now we are going to look at because of time because i don't want this video to be long so if you are still watching and you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please i urge you to click on the subscription button and make sure you toggle on the bell icon so in case uh, you might be uh, asking if you can get this note i have this note uh this is just like a presentation i have the full note where i explain each of these uh, benefit i explain each of these benefits one after the other i have the note with me here i have the note with me so if you need the note what you have to do is just to follow us on our telegram group here our telegram channel follow us on our telegram channel just follow us there you can be able to chat or chat me up on whatsapp i will send you a copy a full copy of this um guide that i prepared i'm going to send you a full copy of it so the next thing we are going to look at, at what are the best channel for social selling what are the best channel for social selling like i always say social um social media they will have thousands of social media around the globe but i decided to pick these four as my best you can make your own research as well to see other ones that will benefit your business or whatsoever you're doing with it so now let's look at facebook i pick facebook as one of the uh, best social media I pick Facebook as one of the best channel for social selling where you can sell your products and services. You might be asking why did I pick social media and um, Facebook as one of it. If you watch, you see that Facebook have more than 2 billion active users. Let's go to Facebook app here. Let's um, let me open my uh, Google Play Store. Then let me search for Facebook app. Going to search for Facebook. So if you watch here, you see that facebook have almost 5 billion plus download of their app so it simply means that 5 billion persons have this facebook application installed in their phone and out of these 5 billion people you are seeing here about 3 billion plus are active 
every day on social media. 3 billion plus are active every day on social media doing what? Buying products and services, watching um, um, videos, communicating with their um, friends and family, you know, doing so many things. So Facebook is one of the best when you want to target a, a potential customer regarding the product you're selling always think about facebook because one the population there is very um, large enough to is very large enough for for your business so i always i picked facebook as one of the best where you can actually actually go and sell your products and services freely without paying a dime so with facebook you can actually um, sell using the social selling strategy. So now, apart from that, if we look at uh, the second one, which is LinkedIn. So let's look for LinkedIn application here. Let's look at LinkedIn application. If we look at LinkedIn application here, you find out that about 500 million people are making use of LinkedIn. 500 million people are making use of LinkedIn. But one thing is certain is that LinkedIn are mainly meant for professionals. Not everybody knows how to use LinkedIn and that's why LinkedIn is not uh, too popular to everyone. Like what I mean is not too popular to everyone is that it's not everybody that actually love to use LinkedIn because mainly LinkedIn is being used by B2B. When I say B2B, I mean business to business. Professionals are always there to make use of LinkedIn because LinkedIn, uh, most of the people that use LinkedIn are big companies like um, bank companies, you know, PLC companies, uh, limited companies. You know, there are so many other companies that always love making use of the, the few individuals that make use of LinkedIn are actually people that understand the strategy behind LinkedIn that are using it to uh, have a, that are using it to search for a work or a job to those companies that I just mentioned. So LinkedIn is another place that you can as well look at it and boost your career. You can as well look at it and boost your products and services. You can as well look at it and boost your business. So um, maybe uh, if you need a video where we are going to explain one after the other about these social medias, how to start it, how to start making use of it properly, then you can always use the comment section to comment, comment on the comment section to request for it. Then I will make an arrangement on how I'm going to make the video up and upload it here on the YouTube channel. So the next thing we are going to look at now is the Twitter aspect of it. So Twitter is another one I'm going to pick as the best place, the best channel for social selling. Now, if you watch Twitter, if you open Twitter here, you'll find that Twitter have more than 1 billion users using Twitter. They have more than 1 billion users using Twitter. So with this population it is actually right to pick it as one of the best channel for social selling strategy so right now i'm going to look at the last but not the least which is the instagram let's look at the instagram although we all know that uh, the owner of facebook the person that owns facebook is also the same person that owns instagram now let's go to Instagram, let's search for uh, Instagram. Instagram has about 1 billion plus that are using Instagram. About 1 billion plus are using Instagram. So we are going to, we have, uh, we have a topic here, which is how to start social selling. So we are going to explain which one will be best for your business. So we're going to explain that right now. We're going to explain that later. So we are going to actually see which one is best, which of this network is best for your business. So 
in here where we talk about identifying the right social media channel from there we're going to talk about how you can actually pick a good uh, social media channel that will suit your business so you don't need to worry much about that i'm just giving you a fact an instant why i choose these social media as, as one of the best channel for social selling so uh let me just guess that you guys are following me up so right now let's look at how to start with social selling now we have heard about the best channels for social selling and we have seen the benefit of social selling we also know what the two part of social selling and what social selling is all about we have seen the statistics why we should go into social selling strategies now the question is how can we start this social selling how exactly can we start as a new buy i don't know anything about social selling how can i start the first thing you have to do is to set a goal because in any step you are going to take in life you have to set a goal for you to click on this video to start watching it you have already set a goal from the title i want to learn this and i want to understand it so that's what you have to do now you have to set a goal on your own what are what are the things you want to achieve each day write it down and say i want to achieve this each day i want to achieve this the next day i want to achieve this in the next one month i want to achieve this in the next two months so it's left for you now to say this is what i want to achieve that's what we mean by setting a goal so the number one thing you have to do first is to set a goal what exactly do you want to achieve set that goal and always look at it each day you wake up from sleep set the goal and look at it each time you are looking at it you are telling yourself that i have a goal i have a goal i have a goal so that goal is what you'll be looking at which is the first thing you have to do then the second thing now you have to do is identify the right social media channel now how can we identify the right social media channel now from the goal you set the goal you set here might be i need to target people from the age of 18 to 23 because the product i'm selling is from the people is from people from age of 18 to 23 are the right people i want to target that can be your goal your goal can be okay i want to have more people to comment on my post or i want to see more people to watch my videos if you are a, an online teacher okay your goal can be that i'm a makeup artist i want people to actually say my makeup for the day is okay so your goal can be anything i'm just using this as an example so identifying the right social media channel now depends on the goal you have set up here and depends on the business you are doing so let's 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 go into it now if you are a fashion designer to be sincere with you if you're a fashion designer the first eye where you your your brain will go to is which of the platform are making use of pictures because fashion deals with picture now, which of the platforms are actually making use of pictures? Which of the platforms that are more popular that people are interested in looking at pictures? Your mind will tell you two things. One is Facebook. Two is Instagram. At least from the listed one I did here. I know that we have what they call Pinterest. Pinterest is also for pictures. So they have multiple social media, but it's not something I have to list out here. It's not something I have to list out here. If you need a list of... Uh, many social medias you can as well go to your google and search for social medias they will show you all the possible social media but i'm just picking up um some some of the social media here so if you are an online teacher you have two things to look at or three things to look at one you have to look at youtube channel first the second you have to look at facebook then third you have to look at instagram but when it comes to picture, you know that Instagram is one. Then if you are a blogger and you know that blogging is all about article writing and it's all about news updates, gossip can be in a blogging. Educational aspect can be in a blogging. Then what your mindset should be telling you are two things. Most important, one, Twitter. 
second facebook so the business you are dealing or the career you are into or what you are doing depends on the kind of social media you are targeting then apart from what you are doing the next thing is the age range the age range depends on what um the channel you are going to use so i'm going to use a picture now to demonstrate this that i just said right now so i have a picture here uh here you can see that in this picture they call it social platform use by demographic group if you watch here you will find out that 18 to 24 years are being colored uh, red and 25 to 29 years are being colored blue 30 to 49 years are being colored or uh, should be yellow or light yellow then 50 to 64 are being colored blue while by 65 years plus and above are being colored green so now let's go to youtube if you watch youtube now you will find out that the people that make use of youtube mostly are from 18 to 24. the people that make use of youtube again is 25 to 29 which means the age range all the age range here are making use of this youtube very well as you can see 65 plus is here the 18 to 24 is here 25 to 29 is here so on and so forth so if you go to facebook now you'll find that they have almost the same similar range with youtube here they have almost the same similar range with youtube that are using so to so such kind of people that are using facebook are also using youtube and if we move to our instagram you'll find out that the newest the highest one here is 18 to 29 they are the one using 18 to 24 are the one using instagram very very well here but when it comes to linkedin you can find out that linkedin has a low population when it comes to a uh, general overview of everything like i said earlier professionals are mainly for linkedin because uh, linkedin is not just meant for anybody professionals make use of linkedin and like i said earlier is mostly big companies make use of linkedin individual also make use of linkedin as well so if you watch here you'll find that, that twitter we also have the age of 2018 to 24 are also using twitter very well and so on and so forth till it gets to 65 plus here so all these statistics are things you are going to look at and you ask yourself what are your targets and that's the purpose of the goal you are setting what are your targets so after looking at this you can now pick a platform where you want to showcase yourself so depending on what you want to get your target your goal for the day your goal for the day you determine what platform you want to venture into to start using it as a social selling strategy then now the third thing we are going to look under how to start with social selling is creating or you create a professional social media profile this part is very very important let me tell you something first impression matters as they say first impression matters if your page or your profile does not look professional as something that someone will look at and it will see your brand being painted in your profile then the person will just walk out now let me let me let me let me do this um, for instance now you are selling you're a fashion designer you are selling clothes and um you ask you told someone that you are into fashion designer designing and you are sewing very well and you are selling clothes you have uh, good designs in your shop and the person requested for your address you gave him you gave the person your address but without knowing that in your shop you don't even have a single machine you don't even have you don't even sample any clothes to represent what you are dealing on what you sampled was provisions what you sample was cosmetics you know you just sample something different from what you told the person okay if the person comes to that particular address and open your uh your your and tries to come inside your office and you seeing something different definitely the person will turn back and say i missed my way so that's why that's one of the reasons why you have to have a professional social media platform sorry a professional social media profile so that it will represent who you are 
if you're a career person let the profile represent you and what you did on for instance if you're an artist then let the person once the person visits your page you will find out that your cover represent what you design your profile picture represent what you design the content you are posting each day on that particular profile represent who you are what you are designing if you're a fashion designer let fashion designing represent your profile let fashion designer represent who you are in that account if you are a makeup artist let it represent you as well let that makeup artist represent you so that it will when the person comes into your profile it will just pick the that is the the interest will be high because the person will love what he or she we see understand so that's one thing about creating a professional social media so the question is how can you make your social media profile professional it doesn't take a minute or five minutes to create a professional social media platform um, social media profile what it takes one under Twitter what they need from you under Twitter is to have a professional photo the photo that represents your brand or who you are that's what they need then write a professional bio including a link to your company's website if you have but if you don't have let the link that will be there be your handle link maybe your handle link to other social medias so that it will make it professional and make you legit people will not see you as a scammer so these things are things you make use of always use a proper hashtag that represents you and always include those hashtags anytime you are posting so that when someone is with that hashtag he can be able to locate your profile easily now share relevant content share relevant content and provide insights what it simply means is that share a content that represents your brand you don't just share anything you see online share a content that represent or related to what you deal on what the page is all about okay let me just use for instance you created a page or a profile that is on football news or football highlights and the next day someone is seeing something different there maybe asking someone maybe you posted something like fashion come and buy clothes come and buy shoes come and buy this it's not way related to what the profile is all about or is talking about so with such things you don't look professional they might mark you as a spammer or they might mark you as a scammer so always be professional in what you do so the second one under linkedin is still the same thing you have to upload a professional photo write a summary of what you do in the about section so and the another thing you have to do is that always share content consistently share content so that your prospects or your customers will know that you are serious in what you are doing and to keep updating your customers or your prospects that's the reason why you have to keep sharing content every day at least one content should be shared every day at least one content join groups and communicate with other potential customers you must not be commenting only on your post you must not depend only on yours try and join other groups those customers you are looking for might be in those groups you are joining and the way you present yourself in such groups they will honor they will honor you and come to your profile and check what you have so those things are the things you have to do to look professional so now under facebook what you need to do under Facebook is that you have to have a Facebook business page. If you're a business person, have a professional Facebook business page. Okay, let me not waste much of your time. Let me open Facebook. Now, in this Facebook account, this is my Facebook account. It's true that I can actually start posting. I can start posting uh, content on my profile directly but anything I'm going to post on my profile has to be a general stuff but if I want to be specific I want to be professional I want to be authentic as someone 
that is representing a particular brand then that's when i will go to creating a page so you can see over here i have about 19 pages i'm managing here so let me go down to um let me go down to let me go down to uh maybe uh let me go down I'm trying to get okay let me go down to um try okay blogmore nigeria let me go back to blogmonnigeria.com so this blogmonnigeria.com is the page for my blog i'm a blogger as well so if you watch here you'll find out that most of the things i post on this blog are all linked to my blog website most of the things i post on this blog are all linked to my blog website most of the things i post here are all linked to my blog website you can see over here you can see that most of them are all linked to my blog website so if i see scroll down all of them are still linked back to my blog website because that's what the website is that's what the page is all about that's what the page the page is meant for this blog i should not post something that is not related to it that is not related to it at all i should not post something that is not related to it i can as well snap a picture and post a news related thing but even though it's not linked to my blog but at least it's related to what the page is all about so when they talk about um having a professional page if you watch here now having a professional page is not a big deal if you watch here you'll find out that i have a cover page here and i have a profile page here apart from that if i go to my about section you'll find out that details of me are there or details of what the page is all about is also there and if you check here you see that about blogmon nigeria is also here if you watch here you see that some details too you have to see about this page are here so all these things are things that are needed for your page to be professional so whosoever that comes in here let me view this as a visitor whosoever that comes in here will see all the necessary details he or she wants so it will look at your page and it will look very professional without having any single doubts so these are what they simply mean by creating or having a professional um, profile social media profile for your business and so on and so forth the same thing goes to instagram the same thing goes to instagram so let me open an instagram account i'm going to open an instagram my instagram account here i'm going to open it right now so if i open it i'm going to search for a particular account here let me search for an account here like for instance everything banging body so if you watch this profile picture now if you watch this profile account uh, it's loading so if you watch this profile then you're going to find out that it looks very professional why did i say so if you look at this place now you're going to see that she has a profile picture that represents her she has a name here that represents what she does on she's into wholesale and retail selling and also not only that she also listed how you can contact her and others so this page looks professional that's simply what i mean for you to have a professional looking social media platform to start selling your products and services so if you don't have all these tips here you don't have all these things here someone will just come in and go out because they say first impression matters the first thing they are going to see that represents you is what we attract them to know if they are going to stay or if they are going to leave so sorry that I'm, I'm taking your time to actually explain this but it's very important you get this if not so you will not understand the, the rest that i'm going to explain so let's go to the fourth thing we need to do the fourth thing under um, how to start social selling the fourth thing here we have is to connect interact and engage with the right people we all know that selling itself is a personal tax selling itself is a personal tax but if you don't interact or engage yourself with the right people then you are you will be selling to the wrong people as well you will be selling to the wrong people as well because one thing how you can connect and interact and engage with people is by commenting on other people's posts don't only depend on your own post when you see something good in other people's posts comment comment something nice on it like their pages like also like their uh, their content comment something nice 
and when someone reading those comments we when once the person uh, sees your when the person sees your comment and it uh, attract the person's attention the person will actually click on your profile and click on follow or click on like and start liking most of the products and check your profile to see what you are into so if you are into something that attracts the person the person will actually call you and place an order based on the product you're selling so that's the reason why you need to connect interact and also engage with the right people that's the how you engage with the right people comment with other people's uh, other people related to what you say comment on their post always give them a, a thumbs up you know like their products and services and other things so these are the ways you can as well actually do that then the next thing um the next one is to follow and interact with thought leaders in your industry to position yourself as a credibility and authority figure in your niche just like i explained earlier find those people that are related to what you're selling if you are a waste trainer seller you are not the only waste trainer you are just a beginner then find those top waste trainer sellers in the state you belong to you can search and you see top waste trainer sellers but if you are a fashion designer you have there are other big fashion designer companies or big fashion desi designer individuals that are more uh that are more better than you then what you have to do is just to follow their account watch the way they do things start doing your own later to that from there the, your uniqueness will now come out for you to start using your own strategy to do that always interact with them communicate with them and always interact with them communicate with them it is very important you do so so um the next thing we are going to look at here is uh hold on the next we are going to look at here is is the number five which says share content to establish your credibility if you lack content then your prospects or your customers will think twice because your customers need an update from you at least once in a day it brings out your credibility it brings out that you are legit it brings that that you are not a scammer it brings that that you are authentic so always share with them it must not be your product every day every day it must be something related to your product always retweet always share what other people that is related other people share always share share it or repost it on your own profile putting uh, a source where you the the content was gotten from in twitter they call it to retweet in instagram they call it to repost in facebook you can use the word share in linkedin i think they have that icon too it's called share so always share things people also share that is related to what you are selling or related to any article related to what you deal on always share it it also help you must not be putting your product every day every day every day because it will get bored those customers will get bored of uh, looking at your product so it's not recommended that you should or your daily post should always be about your product so you can put something related about your product or something to make them smile for the day it is very important you also do that so the sixth one is for you to track and measure your social selling performance this is very very important it's not all about posting on social media it's not about selling on social media it's not about this or that it's about tracking and measuring your social selling performance so what are those um tracking and selling of social media performance now it is already seven days that you started you started uh using your social media and maybe you have gotten uh about two or three or four followers or four subscribers or you have gotten four um um should i say customers now after the seven days in one month look at the highest uh, and trending posts in your profile that you think that your customer loves so much that they have more reaction to it than another one 
how many people have you reached? The question is, how many people have you reached using your, your post? Each time you post, check how many reactions you get, how many likes, how many share, how many views, you know, all those things that are things you check to see where to improve yourself. Without looking at these things, you won't even know where to start improving yourself. So it's very important, very, very important you look at these things. Social media call it insight. So each post you do has a way to see how many people. So let me go back to my to my post here, my profile here. Oh, I have to log in. Give me a minute so I will log in and uh, oh, I'll show you what I want to show you. Okay, I've logged in and if you watch now, you'll find out that if you look at this um, post that I did here, you'll find out that I just re reached 10 people from this post. I just reached 10 people. So if I click on it, I actually click on it. I'm just using Facebook for instance here. If I click on it now, I can be able to see how many people have reached, which is 10. How many reactions did I get? The total reaction, the comment and the share, you can see zero reaction, zero comment, zero share. Click through, how many clicks, link click, how many other clicks. So all those things are things you look at to check if, where you are progressing. So these are the things you look at to see where you are progressing. If you have the organic uh, reach I have here is only 10 and i have no reaction i have no comment i have no share you understand so each time always look at those statistics it helps you a lot it helps you a lot to know where to start to know which of the posts or what your customers want because the reaction your customers will give to your post will determine exactly what they want or what they love from what you posted so this is how the facebook one has been done let me see if i can get the one of instagram so if I go to my profile now and I click on a particular uh, post, let me click on this post for instance, then now you can see from here, we can see what they call view insights, <coughs> insight. So if I click on it now, from here, I can see what the reaction I have, how many people like it, it's only two. I don't have a comment, I don't have uh, a message from here, nobody saved it, So, but account reach, I reach about 41 accounts. And content interaction was only two so these things are things you look at you can see that let me go up let me go up so you see it very well the reach totally is 41 35 followers and six non followers so about 35 followers saw my post and six non followers also saw my post so you can see it now from home is 38 from profile is 5 um, from hashtag is 3 from hashtag is three so you can see so uh these are the ways you can take your statistics to see how you are progressing actually using each of the posts you are you have done so far so you can use it to see uh, how you progress so these are the way to check the inserts so now the next um thing we are going to look at here is the advanced social selling strategy and experts so it's very important you uh, pay attention at this point because this point we uh is one of the best strategies you can use to boost your career using the social selling or boost your business using the social selling so what are the things you are going to do one is go offline yes it's true that internet is the best way to communicate interact with your customers and also get new prospects but when you have already succeeded in one in in the first deal which is the first order and the deal has been sealed then always go offline don't let them only depend on you using the internet or using online to communicate with you try to make them know where you live try to make them know your office always call them on phone and communicate interact outside the internet interact outside the internet always call them on phone communicate so that you people will share contact and be able to to save each other's contact that's when you are going offline we're not trying to tell you that you should go offline for your social media no but you should bring the business out from online to offline you got the business from online yes that's true but it will not end up um, online every time you want to bring it out from online to offline and be a physical face-to-face -face customer right now because that will build more relationship and trust 
than the online aspect because there will still be a doubt when you people are operating only online but when you people are operating offline seeing each other physically face to face communicating through phone will build more relationship between you and the customer so that's the reason why we say offline go offline so the second one is ask for a referral it's very important you ask for a referral is this very very important you ask for referral let me tell you one thing now that's why i say digital the world is going to digital no banker if you watch now the the the, the numbers of marketers in banks are reducing because bankers are using their apps their digital way now to do their marketing now let's look at Wemaba Alert. When Wemaba Alert came up, nobody, no any, there is no any banker that comes to your office that will come to your office and ask you to open Wemaba Alerts. What did they do? They strategize their own by using referral aspects. That when you refer someone to Wemaba Alert, you get 500 as of then, and when the person upgrades his or her account, you also get extra 500, which means you are getting total of 1,000 naira, but for just referring someone to Wemaba Alert as of then. But you can see that with that method, they don't need uh another label like they don't need another person to start doing the marketing for them so also as a business person you are always ask your customer for referral once you have closed the first deal you have called them and you have to, and they have told you oh i love this product i love this i love this always bring out your bring out yourself talk to them and tell them please Always refer us to your friends. I hope you refer someone next day for us or the next time you're going to buy. I hope you're going to refer your friend. Or if it's a walk-in customer, you tell him that we hope to see you next time with someone and also try to refer someone to us. So such thing now, we always tell them that you need someone and you need them to bring in someone. Um, you, need, you need them to bring in someone from their own side, at least to refer your business to their friends and their family so always ask for a referral is another way to serve faster that's why sometimes you will see some people they will pick their phone and they will open their social media account and they will start typing saying that i bought this from um so so persons of um shop and i love it i refer you i recommend so so person please go there and buy yours it is very cheap affordable and it is um have a, a good test and quality so those things are referrals so the next you are going to do is to listen to your customers complain it is very very important this is most important whenever your customer complain always give them that listening ear to understand what they are complaining to know where the fault is is it from them or is it from you if it is from you you treat it urgently if it is from them you let them know that actually the mistake is from them so they will take correction the mistake might be from them but they have already criticized your product they have already criticized who you are to the internet they have already shared your product and say your product is fake this and that why but the issue might be from them but if you did not listen to their complaint you can't actually tackle these things by them before you start tackling it is already late so that's the reason why you always have to listen to their complaint anytime they complain so the next thing you have to do is to share your successful story any success story you have please share always share it screenshot and share let me show you an example let me go to uh, instagram let me go to instagram um okay this is not where i'm at so this is uh instagram so let me go back let me search that account so if I search that account right now, you're going to see that I'm trying to search. Okay. So if I search this account now, if you watch here, you will find out that uh, this place is a review. Someone posted here. You can see here, this is a review. And she screenshot the review and posted it. So if you are a new person that batch into this profile or you come into this profile now and you saw this review your mindset will tell you wow this lady she's selling a very good and quality um, product i think i'll patronize her let me buy from her people are writing review about it so most of our posts you'll be seeing different reviews different reviews you can see here this is a review you can see here it's a review so when people give you a review and say, I love your product, this and that, that and this, always screenshot and send. 
send and update your clients let them know that people are actually giving you a five-star review regarding your products and services so that's what they simply mean by share your that's what they simply mean by share your success stories when you have a successful story a review from people share it is very important now another thing you have to take care of is to implement social listening implement social listening what do we actually know or what do, do you think social listening is it's not a hard thing social listening is just like you you might wake up the next day like on fridays or you can wake up on monday and you get um you might design a post and you post it the next thing you're going to ask them on that post is just to tell them where you people are doing wrong is there anywhere you are doing wrong that you people want to put a correction to it so it's just like we are giving them an open heart and an open door an open uh, book for them to write down pen down anything they think that you are not doing right then from there you can take corrections that's why they say give them implement a social listening ear so if you do not give them that social listening ear it won't go well most of them will have something to say but because you don't allow them to say it they will keep it to their own the suggestion might be a way to improve yourself the suggestion might be a way to amend the old things you have been doing so always try to implement social listening is very important then the, the the next one is what we call the join uh, join relevant groups and forums so when it comes to facebook and you are dealing with a kind of business depending on the kind of business always join a a, a group on the social media that represents or related to what you are doing let me use for instance here this is facebook so let me go back to uh, page and uh, groups. These are groups now. I'm into online trading that is with Royal Q. You can see that you have Royal Q following here. I have Royal Q group here, which I belong. I'm a blogger as well. I have a blogger group, which I belong. I get updated about the latest happening. I get updated about the latest happening on how to uh, optimize and other things about my blog. So I always get updates here. I'm also into um, what they call it uh, tech, which is the UI design and other things. You can see over here, I have a group here that we can learn UI. You can learn so many things here from this place. So always belong to a relevant group that are related to your product. So if you are someone that is selling and buying, then look for groups that is under buying and selling. Look at here. I have a group here that is on a... Uh, I'm trying to get it. I have a group here that is on online merchandise, which is online selling, buying and selling is also here. I also have the one that say buyers and sellers in Lagos, Edo and Delta State. So if you belong to each of these states, you don't even need to belong to each of these states. You can join this group and market your product from this place. And from there, you will get more buyers. You will get more people that will buy from you. More people will come, will see your product, open your profile and also buy from you so it is very important you always join relevant groups it's very very important they have millions or thousands of groups to join on facebook where you can market your products and services where you can as well advertise those social those social networking or these networking businesses most of my referrals on that rare queue for people that are following up following me up on rare queue most of my referrals i got them from groups like this crypto groups and other groups like this that's where i got them from so it's very important you join relevant group It's very very important so for you that are still watching this video till this time i have a gift for you and the gift i'm going to give you now is a strategy you can use to explore more um to explore your content to get to reach to others often so right now what is that using the proper hashtag using the proper hashtag in each of your posts is very very important why did i say so now if you are posting let's look at this lady's profile again if you open this lady's profile now and we try to scram i'm trying to get the one that has enough content let me check for the ones that have enough content like this one right now if i open this uh, this one doesn't have enough content 
let me check 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 i'm trying to get the one that have enough uh, content so let me check this this one doesn't have as well okay let me see and today just give me some minutes i'm going to pause this video and so i've gotten a con a post that have enough content so if you go scroll down now and click on uh, more click on more here if you scroll down you'll find out that she's actually using um she's actually using enough hashtags that is related to what she posted it is related to what she posted so she's using enough hashtag and this hashtag can make this post go more viral so what are the works of hashtag let me tell you one secret you don't know about hashtags now if you're a fashion designer and you are posting something about uh you are posting something on the internet or using any social media you're a fashion designer and you included a hashtag of fashion let me type uh hashtag hashtag fashion so let's look at this you'll find out that they have about 1 billion posts that are using hashtag fashion we have about uh, 80.5 million people are using uh, fashion style, hashtag fashion style, and so on and so forth. You can see all the posts here. So let's say we are using this hashtag fashion in our post. We click on it. You will find out that, look at, some people are following this hashtag here. And they have about 1 billion posts. And social media have made it in a way that you can click on follow and follow any hashtags that this with this uh these hashtags any has any post that is with these hashtags so if i always follow this hashtag if i'm following this hashtag now and i wake up the next day and i said okay i want to check the latest under hashtag fashion i'll just go under hashtag fashion and i'll click on recent so if you posted if your posts you posted your post recently your post will be among these ones here that's why hashtag is very very important always make use of hashtag that's the tips i'm going to give you now and i know most of you don't know about this so always make use of hashtag in all your posts it's very important you make use of it so that you can go viral very well the another thing i'm going to tell you is that if you are new to social media keep posting at least once a day once a day there is a way social media is being designed which so many of us don't know if uh a particular social media like youtube or facebook or instagram find out that you are very active every day on your profile it will even help you automatically it will start recommending your channel or you start recommending your uh, your profile to others to follow to start recommending yeah, that's why you will see uh, uh people you may know sometimes you see people you, you may know on facebook sometimes you see recommended for you so all these things are things you have to do in order to give this to give instruction to the uh to the um to the site owner or the application owner that you are active on their social media they will start recommending your profile to others so these things are things they also have many of them which i can't list out right now but like i said earlier i have a full guide on this social selling so if you want to get it just follow us on our telegram group follow us on our telegram channel on our youtube channel here follow us on our telegram just come here and click on here you'll be connected to our telegram or your whatsapp as well so that i can be able to send you the full list of this uh, social selling guide so guys if you're still watching you haven't subscribed yet to my youtube channel please i would like you to click on subscription button and make sure you toggle on the bell icon so that you notify each time i update a video on this youtube channel i hope this video is helpful so if you have any comments regarding this video i want you to use the comment section below and if you think this video deserves a thumbs up please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share to your family and friends. See you guys in my next video. Peace out.